Okay, hey guys, welcome back to our Floaty Nomads YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Sebastian and the pretty half of Floaty Nomads is Lucia. She's behind the camera. So, here we're having our van tour of our 2013 Volkswagen Caddy Maxi. This is the comfort line version and we have built this out into a mini camper. Let's take a look. The comfort line version, you get the electric windows, electric mirrors, uh, and navigation satellite system, which was really important for us. We also, the big thing we were looking for was the automatic gearbox. So this is a 1.6 liter turbo diesel with a seven speed DSG automatic, and it gives us really, really good mileage. When it's set up in a full bed mode, we actually have a full length bed. It's 2.2 meters long and 1.2 wide at the, at the narrowest and we have 1.6 wide here at the doors. Uh, lots of storeroom behind the seats, underneath. This is a big storage box, which we have all our sleeping and clothes and everything in at the moment. Beautiful. Let's move back over here. So we went for the head club version, or the, the rear door tailgate version, just so when it's raining, we've got somewhere to stand under. And um, yeah. We look at putting a tent on this after. Come on around here, guys. How we did this, we did nine mil ply for the floor and some of the cabinetry, and then all the structural stuff we've done in 18 mil multiplex, which is a, a multi-pressed ply. It's a lot stronger. Um, at the back, we've put some uh, mosquito nets on. Just in the summer months, it gets you know lots of mosquitoes. Lucia, they, they love her blood, not so much mine. But these are magnetic, but they've got these off Amazon. We can put a link in the video, but these are just cheap household ones with the magnets, really easy. Didn't take much to mount them, so that was nice and easy. The curtains we've used are from Biomex. Really, really good. These are actually one of the most expensive parts of the build with our windows. And we've got curtains all the way around, which you'll see. Uh, these are Velcro and they have uh, press studs on the side to hold them in. Really, really neat, really easy to install, and we'll try and link in the video as well for these. So it was really important for us when we were doing the build to still keep one extra seat in the back. We, uh, just in case we have someone joining us on our trip, or if we're going shopping, we just needed to carry one other person. So this is actually the third seat here, and very remote, very easy, this lifts up, and we have access, this third seat pops straight up. For the mattress we used 10 mil memory foam which we've cut up and sewn ourselves and that was great fun um, the fabric for these uh, cushions just reminds us of uh, the tropics in some way the nice warm places we want to visit with the car one day let's move into the kitchen so with our kitchen cabinet we kept it very easily uh, very easy very simple um, just simple hatches Drop down, easy ropes, easy connection. So we've got a gas burner here. We have a second cooker as well, which I'll show you after. The storage for our very important coffee machines. We actually carry two coffee makers because we just love coffee. Um, so that's our two coffee machines. Uh, pots, pans, uh, cups, everything's up here. Plates normally store underneath. We've got cutlery here. And yeah, this beautiful little kitchen. Lots of room, especially even with two of us in here. Lots of preparing area, lots of prep space, lots of cooking area. It's really, really good. Um, storage room, we have just these little bags we've got off Amazon as well. Um, and we can still access all the factory settings. So there's all the factory trim inside still. All of this is removable, so in about 15 minutes or so, we could get all of this out and start putting the seats back in. I'd say probably half an hour, we could have this back into a seven-seater again. Um, so yeah, nothing much to the kitchen. Uh, nothing much more. Let's, uh, let's move into the bathroom. Well, welcome to the bathroom, guys. This here was a bit of freebie we got. Five litre porta potty, fantastic, fits in the van perfectly. We actually found this little stool 
in a discount store and the lid fits perfectly. And then with some leftover fabric from our uh, bed, we've, um, we've just stapled this around and it actually fits perfectly in here with the bed down and the door closed. So speaking of bed, let's check out the bed. Because we use this as our everyday vehicle as well, we needed space for our bikes, for shopping and all that sort of stuff. So it was very important for a Murphy bed or some way of having a bed fold up, fold away so we had more room. I don't know how many nights I've spent dreaming about this, but we finally came up with this system thanks to IKEA and their ingenious hinges. We managed to build this, uh, build, uh, this folding bed. So undoing these clips, now when we're actually driving all of this is fastened, as you can see I can stand up in here. Um, when we're driving this is fastened, but it's so simple. Unclips, folds down, and here we have our bed. Well, sorry, this is our lounge. In lounge mode. There's enough room in here for me to sit up. I can't sit up straight, but I can sit up. It's comfortable enough to still cook and eat, play cards. Um, I can lounge and read a book. And obviously this way is not a problem at all either. This is, I'm six foot, so I'm 183 centimeters. And I can lay fully down. Full arms room for two people. It's cozy, but it's comfortable. Um, our second cooker is just another gas cartridge cooker, uh, and this is great for doing water, and we can cook at the same time, which is really, really cool. Of course, very important we had the fire extinguisher, and yeah, nice and comfy. Big shout out while we're in here to solar plexus these window the window tinting is fantastic it's a 90 90 percent tint we can see out but people can't see in even at night time with lights so yeah great bit of kit really easy to install highly recommend so to go from couch mode to bed mode really really easy can even do it while we're inside here. Got this little board that just slides out. Bed mode. And again, lots of room. Two people, not a problem in here. And Tall enough we can sit. So when when we're camping, we found that this is actually a really good spot. You can sit against the side, read a book. Other person's cooking dinner. Um, yeah. <laughs> cooking and, in bed. Yeah, it's pretty good. We can have coffee, coffee and bread in bed, coffee and breakfast in bed. So really cool. Now we actually have another feature. When we're in full camping mode, we can make the bed longer. It has another 50 centimeters on it. If these seats go all the way forward, we have a fold-out section of the bed that goes into the cab, comes all the way forward to this bulkhead and um, gives us a little bit extra room. That's why these cushions are so big. Is, uh, it fits in perfectly between this and the seat and becomes an extension on the bed, if you will. And uh, just gives us a little bit more space in here. It's not, it's not crowded, but it's cozy. It's enough for us. We spent nine months on bicycles, living out of a tent. So this is a, this is luxury. <laughs>